Hello and welcome. Uh, this is Al from Z Panel Community. Today I'm going to uh, show you how to install Joomla, the latest version, on your Z Panel web server. Don't forget to come and visit us on our forum. Anyway, let's start to download the latest version of Joomla. You can go to Joomla.com. And I'll load the latest version. In this case, it will be 2.5.4. I will save to my desktop. And in this case, logically, I was already uh, already downloaded, so I will skip that. Now, what I'm going to do is log into my panel. Once you log in your panel, the first thing you're going to do, you need to start to create a new database and a new user. So you go to the top panel, click MySQL uh, database and create a new one. I'm going to call it Joomla. After done that, I go back to the actual menu. Click on my SQL users and create the user. Once I uh, type the username, in this case Joomla, I'm going to select which database I want to use and I'm going to uh, create it. Don't forget, this is the new password was created for you for the new user. Now let's start to upload the downloaded file from Joomla. Because it logically is taking so long, what I'm going to do, I'm upload it and pause the video. Alright, uh, all the files have been uploaded. I'm going back to the Z panel. Once I do that, I'll go to the subdomain that I have created to start the installation of Joomla. Don't forget logically you need to use the database and user of the database. That's all the information you need for the installation. Let's start. You choose the language you want. Go next. Everything looks fine here. Although it's one of the red, but that's fine, not a problem. You can read the uh, the license. Go next. Start to input all the you know the database information. I'm going to use localhost. Now I'm going to type the username. In this case, it will be Joomla. And this is the password there. Joomla here and paste the password. The database name you can find it here under the database MySQL, just in case you forgot about it or you put it down. You can logically copy and paste. Once you've done all, just click next. 
and installation started. You don't have to do this, but logically you can do it if you wanted to. There we go, everything's done. The basic settings, uh, just type, type the name of the site, uh, type your email address here. The admin username as well, and the password. You can install the uh, sample script that comes with it. There are three different ones. Once you've done that, go next. And don't forget to remove the installation. Here I'm going to do that, so it will be an error. So I'm going to move it through the FTP program. Alright, so I'm going to log in. Here we go, the removal of the folder is nearly finished. Once you remove the, the folder, you can go back to the installation page. Can do it and just look at the site. Should be okay. Once you do that, so let's see the administrator side of it. Username admin and the password, and we log in. There we go, everything works fine. Don't forget to come and join us on the HAL forum on our planet for any information helps. And don't forget at the end, just come and join us and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. The address is www.youtube.com forward slash man goldwin m a n g o l d w e n thank you again and i'll see you in the forum